Aromatic compounds contain two hormonal-like groups, preparation of O nitrophenol in a small beaker, beaker melt, 20 grams of phenol on the steam bath and add it slowly with stirring to a mixture of 13 centimeters of pure concentrated nitric acid and 100 grams of it contained in a beaker stirred mixer and then let it stand for at least 3 hours. If more convenient, it can be set aside until the next laboratory exercise the can't of as much of the acid layer as possible throughout a funnel uh, containing a filter paper which serve to collect the part uh, of the oil that is suspended in water. At about 200 centimeters of water to the oil stir and the count of the liquid as before, repeat the washing with 200 centimeters of water. Place the filter paper with the header in a hole in a little flask arranged for steam distillation. Wash the oil in the bakery into the flask using for the purpose of 200 centimeters of water, which should be measured. This is done to facilitate the isolation of the p nitrophenol which is not volatile with steam. Uh, this is with the same as long as uh, any oil or solid condenser is about 13 minutes. If the oil solidifies in the condenser, turn off the water from the, later, the latter. When the water in the condenser becomes uh, heated, the solid melts and runs into the receiver, filter dry and wait the O nitrophenol recrystallizes the product by dissolving it in 14 centimeters of hot alcohol and Add in 14 centimeters of water, set aside overnight to crystallize, filter the section, and wash with a small amount of boiled alcohol. Heat the filtrate to boiling and add an equal volume of water, set aside, and collect as before. O nitrophenol melts at 45 degrees. The yield is from 7 to 8 grams. The P nitrophenol, which is not volatile with steam, may be obtained from the residue in the flask as follow. Cooling in running water the solution in the flask to 14 and the filter it rapidly throughout a large funnel. The volume of the solution should be about 300 centimeters at 2 grams of bone black to the filter and boil it for about 15 minutes. If they're hot and place it in cold water, the solution should be cooled to at least 10 centimeters. 10 degrees and that should be used if necessary if crystals do not form. Scratch the side of the beaker with a glass rod after standing for about half an hour. Filter off uh, the crystal by section and wash them with a little cold water. The yield is about 3 grams. Evaporate the mother liquor to dryness on the steam bath and extract the residue with about 15 centimeters of oil in basin. About 2 grams more of the product can be obtained. Pinitrophon melts at uh, 114 degrees. It crystallizes well from basin in which is readily a soluble hot and difficulty soluble cold when pure it crystallizes from hot water. Compare the condition used in the nitration of phenol which those used in making nitrobenzene, dinitrobenzene and nitroacenilide. Note that the yields are small in this preparation on account of the fact that the compounds over the NHO and the pinitrophenol are formed. Among these are substances of other nature from which it is difficult to separate the para compound. It is on this account that special precautions are necessary in order to obtain pinitrophenol in a crystalline condition. Isolation of eugen from uh, cloves. This is 25 grams of cloves uh, with the steam as long as an uh, separating the condenser during time. This time, about 16 centimeters of water will distill. Um, Still, um, is it, um, 
give the vessel containing the mixer out of motion so that the oil settles. We can't off most of the water and pour the oil into a test tube by means of a pet transfer about one half the oil to a small test tube, cover it with about two centimeters of water and add the solution of sodium hydroxide 10% as long as it appears to dissolve the oil. Is a clear solution obtained out of a few cubic centimeters of the alkyl so alkaline solution, bromine, water in excess. What does the reaction indicate? Divide the rest of the alkali solution into two equal portions to one at the nexus of the hydrochloric acid. Set the two tubes aside and examine them carefully at the nexus exercise for an oil. Explain why sodium hydroxide did not dissolve the oil to a clear solution. Separate from water by means of a path the rest of the oil obtained in distillation with steam. Put it in a dry test tube, avoiding getting water into the tube. Add about Two centimeters of carbon tetrachloride and filter um, into dry test tube throughout the small funnel containing a paper moistened with carbon tetrachloride. Add a solution of bromine in carbon tetrachloride drop by drop. What does the behavior indicate? Preparation of of sulfonyl acid. In a small round bottom flask containing 25 grams of alanine, for casually 18 grams of pure considered sulfuric acid, it makes her for from 4 to 5 hours in an oil bath at 118 degrees, 119 degrees, in order to determine whether the reaction is complete, remove a drop of the mixer on a glass rod and mix it on a watch glass with a few drops of a solution of sodium hydroxide. If any aniline sulfate is present in the mixer, the aniline will separate as an oil. If sulfonation is complete, the sodium salt of sulfonylic acid, which is served in water, is formed. When the reaction is complete, put the product into about 300 centimeters of cold water. Filter wash the precipitated sulfonylic acid with cold water dissolved in it uh, dissolved it uh, in boiling water and um, avoiding an excess of the latter. Add about 2 grams of black and boil for 5 minutes, stirring occasionally. Filter the host solution and set aside to crystallize. Dry the crystals in the air with them as soon as dry as the acid slowly loses its water of crystallization and standing, calculate the percentage yield. So finally, acid crystallizes from water plates which contain 2 molecules of water of crystallization. It is converted into tribro. Moniline by an excess of brine water, the yield in this preparation is about 25 grams. Preparation of M nitronilin in a 100 centiliters flask is of 10 grams of M dinitrobenzene in 15 centiliters of hot alcohol. Cool the solution under running water so that small crystals are formed and add 10 centiliters of a concentrated solution of ammonia in water. Pass into the solution a rapid stream of hydrogen sulfide as long as it is evolved by the reaction. This requires about one half hour. Heat on the steam bath for 10 minutes. Pour the product into 200 centers of water, fit by section, and wash the precipitate with water. Put the mixture of ammonitronilin and sulfur in tobacco. Add 100 centiliters of water and 20 centiliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid, stir and filter of the residue of sulfur by section. Set the filtrate aside, determine whether all the nitronilin has been extracted from the sulfur by treating it on the filter with a little diluted hydrochloric acid and adding ammonia to the filtrate. To the original filtrate from the sulfur, add an excess of concentrated ammonia, cool in running water, filter of the precipitate time, nitronilin by suction, wash it with a little cold water. Dissolve the nitronilin in the smallest amount of running water, about 500 centimeters, filter the hot solution that set it aside to crystallize, filter of the crystals, wash them with a little cold water and dry on, filter paper, calculate the percentage yield and determine the melting point of the product. M nitronilin crystallizes in yellow needles which melt at 114 degrees the yield in this preparation is from 5 to 6 grams. Uh, preparation of P nitronilin uh, add slowly 
uh, in small amounts uh, with serine, uh, 20 grams uh, of finely poppy acetylene, uh, to 16 grams of feminitric acid containing a beaker surrounded by highs and considered commercial hydrochloric acid. The temperature of the nitric acid should not be allowed to rise above 10 degrees. The addition of the acetylene requires about 20 minutes when the substance has dissolved for the solution into about 300 centimeters of cold water, still vigorously and unfiltered by suction. Uh, P nitro acetylene is precipitated and the ortho compound from the remains in solution. Wash the precipitate three or four times with the hot water. Remove as much water as possible by pressing the compound on the funnel and uh, then crystallize it from volume half. Let the solution cool and filter off the crystals by vibrating the filter to a small bulk. Um, Bulk a fat amount of analyte can be obtained to determine the melting point in yield of the P nitroacetanilid uh, obtained. P nitroacetanilid uh, melts uh, at 207 degrees. The yield should be about 14 grams. The auto compound can be obtained from the original solution in dilute nitric acid by extraction with the color form to obtain P nitroanilin from the analyte. Proceed as follows. In a beaker covered with a watch glass boy, the P nitroacetanilid, uh, P nitroacetanilid, Acetinilin with 10 times its weight of dilute hydrochloric acid for about 20 minutes. Cool the solution at about an equal volume of water and an excess of concentrated ammonia. When the solution is cool, filter of the P nitronidin. Wash it with cold water, recrystallize from hot dilute hydrochloric acid. Volume vol concentration HCl to 5 volts of aqua. Uh, one volumeter uh, of uh, um, chloric acid uh, um, every five uh, volumes of water. Weight the compound determine its uh, melting point. Calculate the percentage yield from the penetronin that is used. Penetronin melts at 147 degrees. It realizes of the salts of the nitroanilines. Prepare a sample of anilin hydrochloride as follows. Mix together once it is of anilin and once it is of concentrated hydrochloric acid. Cool under running water and plate the solid which separates on a porous plate when the liquid has been absorbed for a little heavier on the salt. Repeat treatment with water and let the salt dry in here. The samples of the hydrochlorides of uh, meta and the paranitronilines uh, as follows. Mix together about 1 gram of uh, the amine with 5 centimeters of concentrated chloric acid and 5 centimeters of water. Uh, heat uh, to boiling and then cool in a running water filter the salt. Um, by suction and wash the crystals with 10 centimeters of alcohol and then with 10 centimeters of ether. Dry the salts for a few minutes on filter paper. Shake up a little of the three salts with about 2 centimeters of water and test the solutions for acid with the most paper and with Congo paper. Explain the results. Note that litmus is much more sensitive to hydrogen ions than the dilute Congo paper. Properties of salicylic acid. At the dilute solution of perchloride, uh, to the equation solution of salicylic acid to one half of the solution uh, of dilute chloric acid drop by drop, and uh, to the other half dilute acetic acid at the drop of perchloride to an alcoholic solution of salicylic acid. Repeat this test with the final and compare the results. Um, for bromine and salicylic acid, add bromine water to solution of the acid formation of the salicylate warm together and watch glass about oh, uh, 0.05 gram of salicylic acid, 3 drops of methyl alcohol and 3 drops of concentrated sulfuric acid, no the other of the compound formed. The composition of salicylic acid on heating uh, is um, uh, so uh, experimentable, heat rapidly in a dry test tube of the acid and know the other. Uh, what uh, type of order? Here's uh, um, it 
the detection of salicylic acid and the mesoic acid in food. So if the sample to be tested is a liquid acidifier, a 100 centiliters of it with 10 drops of the sulfuric acid and extract the solution twice with ether of petroleum ether using 15 centiliters each time. If the material contains a substance soluble in water, green 15 grams of it with 100 centiliters of water and add an ether of the solution of sodium dioxide to make the mixture alkaline mixer throughout the filter um, through out three layers of cheese cloth acidify with the sulfuric acid and extract twice with ether of petroleum ether using 15 centimeters each time separate the ether extract and filter it throughout a dry the paper shake five centimeters of the extract with five centimeters of water and out of the waves uh, solution and the solution of ferric chloride containing no free acid if salicylic acid is present the characteristic color will develop Evaporate the rest of the hetero extract to dryness, dissolve the residue in the smallest possible amount of hot water, let the solution cool and remove the crystals by means of a spatter to upper plate. When dry, determine their melting point. Test the crystal with the ferric chloride as in above the silver crystal in a drop of ammonia evaporate on the steam bath dissolve in a few drops of water and a drop of a solution of ferric chloride. If benzoic acid is present, above colored precipitate of basic ferric benzoic is formed. Uh, properties of tannic acid. Uh, for the following experiment, make a 1% solution of tannic acid by dissolving 0.5 gram of the acid in 15 centiliters of water, tannic acid and ferric chloride. Um, the, uh, um, uh, ferric chloride and tannic acid experiment at the few drops for the tannic acid and ferric chloride experiment, add the two drops of a dilute solution of ferric chloride. Um, add a few drops of a dilute solution of ferric chloride to about 5 centimeters of solution of tannic acid. Dilute some of the solution of the acid with 5 parts of water and uh, add a drop of ferric chloride. Tannic acid and salts of heavy metals add to a solution of the acid, a solution of lead acetate, repeat using copper sulfate, uh, tannic acid and gelatin. gelatin. Dissolve about 0.1 gram of gelatin in about 10 centimeters of warm water and add the one half of the cold section. Uh, solution, a solution of tannic acid, uh, reserve the rest of the solution for experiment below. Reducing action of tannic acid. Test the solution of the acid with a fehidin solution and the solution of tannic acid to an ammonia cal solution of silver nitrate. Oxidation of tannic acid by air. Mix a little of the solution of the acid with a solution of sodium hydroxide and shake the mixture in contact with hair. Tannic acid in tea, pour about 15 centimeters of boiling water onto about 1 gram of tea. After 2 minutes, the count of the clear solution to 5 centimeters of it, add 2 drops of ferric rice solution. If the shade of the color produced cannot be clarified, seen dilute with water. Compare the color with the produced by the galnut tannic acid in experiment above. Add 5 centers of the solution to the solution of gelatin. Compare the behavior of the tannic acid from tea with the tap that from galnuts to the rest of the tea infusion and to the solution of lead acetate drop by drop from a pivot as long as a precipitate is formed. Device and the carry out experiment to determine whether the amount of tannic acid present in the tea infusion is greater when the tea is tapped for two minutes or when it is boiled with water for 15 minutes. Preparation of a tannic ink, removal of ink stains, dissolve 1 gram of titanic tannic acid in 10 cents of hot water, 0.5 gram of ferrosulfate in 5 cents of water, and 0.05 gram 
uh, gamma ray became five centimeters of out water cool the solutions and mix them bright on a piece of paper with some of the ink using a new pen adding a few drops of fair chloride to a little of the ink and bright which with the mixer compare result in the two cases, explain, put the paper away and examine the writing with the two samples of the ink at the text exercise and explain the results. Put on a piece of cotton cloth, uh, some of the iron ink and uh, on another piece of some ordinary ink which already contains a dye. When the ink uh, spots are dry, cut each piece of cloth into three parts in such a way that the pieces containing the iron ink can be distinguished from those containing the dye. Uh, wash the pieces in water. Add a piece of each kind to the solution of oxalic acid. Explain the result. Add a piece of each kind to a dilute solution of sodium hypochlorite. Place the, these uh, pieces alternately in the solution of oxalic acid and sodium hydrohypochlorite until the color is, uh, is uh, destroyed in both cases. Uh, prepare a 0.5% solution of potassium permanganate by dissolving about one fourth uh, gram of the salt in 15 centimeters of water. Add to the solution five drops of concentrated sulfuric acid. Place in the solution pieces of cloth containing the two uh, kinds of ink. After about two minutes, remove them, wash um, with water, and place them in a strong solution of sodium hydrogen sulfide. Repeat the treatment with the permanganate and sulfite until the ink is destroyed. If ink is removed in this way, the fabric should be washed through hot in water and then placed in a dilute solution of ammonia. Uh, note that uh, the formation of insoluble compounds from titanic, titanic acid and the cells of metal is used in preparing mordants in dyeing. Uh, dyeing. Dying like this. Uh, the use of titanic uh, of titanic in titanium leather is based on the fact that it forms a compound with the proteins in the hide of which gelatin is an example. The removal of ink spots from fabrics made of silk is best accomplished. Accomplished by means of potassium permanganate. If sodium hypochlorite is used, the chlorine presents attack the material and converts it into a chlorinated product with a has a faint yellow color that cannot be readily destroyed. A natural solution of potassium permanganate oxidized is ink. The reaction takes place more rapidly in a very faintly acid solution.